first open a new tab and go to your cPanel link. Now, if you don't know what is your cPanel link, what you can do, you can type in your website name slash cPanel. Okay, it will redirect you to your cPanel. So type in your website name forward slash cPanel. Now, as I said, you it has redirected me to my cPanel. Now put in your username and password over here and click on login. All right, so this is your cPanel. Now, as you can see, all the companies are using this cPanel. Okay, here at the top, it says cPanel. So as I said you earlier, whether you're using any hosting provider, Hostinger, uh, SiteGround, Bluehost, TMD, HostGator, whatever you're using, you'll see a very similar screen over here. Now, cPanel is divided into different sections. Now, what you have to do, you have to go to this section email section and here you'll see this uh, thing over here email accounts now if you don't see this over here if you cannot find it what you can do you can just press ctrl f on your keyboard and type in email account okay now as you can see it will uh, show you that here it is okay so open this thing now here you can create a new email now if you see i have already created one contact at nayashik.com now if you want to create a new you can just click over here add email address and here you can put anything for example let me put this time support at nayashik.com here you can see your website so it is support at nayashik.com and here you have to put in the password so let me put a password very quickly all right now let's retype this password over here fine now you can uh, give a quota mailbox quota you can increase or decrease this it, it, this is in mb so it is 1000 mb around 1 gb if you want to make it unlimited you can click this okay but i want to make it uh, 1 gb okay so now let's create uh, click on this button which says create account all right guys now as you can see here it says success account support at gmail.com support at neshek.com has been created now let me copy this mail from here and let's do uh, let's see how to do other options okay you will see this configuration option over here but you don't have to do anything over here now directly go to gmail.com all right so this is uh, my gmail now what you have to do you have to click on this gear icon you will find this gear icon at the top right corner and here it is just click on this gear icon it is settings now under this click on settings okay so this is how your screen would look like now here we have different options what you have to do, you have to click on over here, accounts and import. Now, if you go over here, if you see here, it will show you that check email from other account. And I have already created one and I have already connected this one, contact at nayashik.com. Now, if you want to add a mail account, a new mail account, or if you want to connect a new mail account, like we want to do this. So you can click on this link, add a mail account. You'll get this pop up over here now paste in the email address over here click on next now uh, first let's let's just continue again make sure this thing is selected import emails from my other account and click on next now here you have username password and pop server now in the username you have to paste in the email address in the password just type in the password which we have just recently set okay and here in the pop server make sure it is mail dot your website name dot com okay and in the port now this differs so what happens is basically it is uh, 110 for no normal people but if you have this ssl certificate in my case i do have a ssl certificate so i'll have to select a different thing from here okay so i'll select 995 from here okay now select this thing and what we can do uh, leave a uh, tick mark this thing okay leave a copy of retrieved message on the server also tick mark this thing okay always use a uh, ssl while when retrieving mail now if you don't have this certificate ssl certificate on your website if you don't have https if you have only http then you don't have to tick mark this okay then third one it says label incoming messages yeah very important because all the messages will be coming in the same account so it, it should label that this uh, e email is from this account okay you'll understand these things later on when we you know uh, send and receive emails okay so put in your username as your email address password and mail dot your website name as the server and take mark the first three things and click on add account now here you can change the name at present here my name is given i can change this name 
I can put in my company's name and so on. So it's all up to you. Now click on next step. All right, now here uh, you have to do something like your SMTP server. What is your SMTP server, your username and password. So for username, we'll put in the same username and password. That is the email address and the password. And in the SMTP server, by default, it is only my website name. So I want mail dot website name. Okay, so I'll type in mail dot .com or mail dot your website name dot com. Now we have to select this port from here. Now, if you're using TMD or if you're using mo most of the companies, what you'll do, uh, what you'll get is let me explain you this. Now, let me go back over here in the C panel and let me go to email accounts. Here it is. Okay, so I have created this contact at Nashik dot or sorry, this one support at Nashik dot com. Now let me access this webmail. So let's see what happens. Okay. Now, as I said you earlier, we get three different companies. You can use these to access your email account. So let me use this one round cube. Okay, now as you can see over here, whenever you create a new email account, you'll get this mail. So you can open this and it will help you to configure. Okay, so as you can see, if you have a SSL certificate, you have this configuration setting. If you don't have an SSL certificate, you have this configuration setting. Okay, so we have put the username, we have put the password and we have put this port number. If you remember 995, now we have to put this thing outgoing server and here you can see the port number is four six five so here instead of this let me bring this so instead of five eight seven let's put four six five because as you can see over here it says four six five should be the port number okay that's why so make sure you check your email address from here so that you get all this mail okay and here you have to select whether you have ssl certificate or not so i have an ssl certificate so i'll select the first one now i click on add account all right, now this will send a code on your on your email address. So let's see, let us let me go back over here to my inbox. Let me refresh this. All right, now as you can see, here is the mail. You can open this and here you'll see the confirmation code. So let's copy this code from here and let's go to this window. Let's paste it over here. Click on verify. Now this window will automatically close. Now, as you can see, now let's come back over here on on Gmail and here you can see this email address is also added. Okay, so we have support at nearshake.com. Now you can check mail now. So click on check mail now. Now you can see one email address, uh, one email has been uh, fetched. Okay, so this has worked for us. Now let's come back to the inbox. Now as you can see here, we get this uh, when you go to update. Here we have this new mail. And here you can see the label support at nashik.com. So you can see, okay, so this email is coming to this account. And here we have some different label contact at nashik.com. So very, very useful. Okay, so this thing has worked. And this is how you do, uh, this is how you create a business mail. And this is how you link it to Gmail. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give a thumbs up to this video. Also click on that red subscribe button because I have many special and useful things uh, things coming up in the future. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubt, any queries, you, any request for me, if you want me to make a video on special subjects or any, any kind of video, any kind of website and so on, you can leave your request, your comments, your suggestions, your queries in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.